Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a real quick unboxing to do for you. So there was a company that hit me up on Inst no, they emailed me. I'm not sure how they got my email, but maybe I set it up on Instagram or something. Um, but they emailed me, and they sell flashlights. I've never heard of them. The company name is uh, Brinny T Flashlight. Br B R I N Y T E Flashlight. Uh, Brenna T. I don't, I'm probably saying something completely wrong there. But anyway, I think Kitty was her name. She emailed me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing one of their products. Now, she sent me a picture, and right away I was like, uh, it's probably not for me. It's like a flashlight with a karambit ring on it. It's like a tactical flashlight, which to me screams cheap garbage. Chinese garbage, right? Um... But I was like, you know, it could be a funny video. <laughs> you know, I, I love the Ev attack. I've had a lot of fun with the Shade Ranger. And, um, you know, perhaps uh, this will be a similar situation. Or maybe this will be a fantastic flashlight. I looked at their website briefly, and there's some flashlights on there for hundreds of dollars. So, like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to get the... Uh, the Evertech Shadow Ranger, the greatest unboxing knife ever made. Boo, 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 boo. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this bad boy. I gotta go pick up my daughter, and uh, I'm kind of in a hurry. So while I ramble and say I'm in a hurry, I'll open this box. It's actually opening the box. Somebody snuck in here and sharpened this damn thing. There she is. Man, this box is heavy, dude. Holy shit. Here it is, guys. The Brin Brinny T flashlight. Pro or PT18 tactical flashlight with flashlight holster. USB magnetic rechargeable flashlight with tactical ring. Baller. That is a baller ass flashlight up in here, yo. Look at that baby. Look at that. Look at that packaging too, huh? This thing has 2,000 plus lumens on turbo. 450 on high, 60 on middle, 10 on low, and uh, 2,000 on strobe, 60 on SOS. It's got a whole bunch of stats. Check that out. You can read all that. Um, it's got a peak beam intensity of 32,000 plus CD, whatever that is, 18, seven, or 800, 1,870 minutes max run time. It's got an impact resistance of one meter. It's got a water resistance of one meter. Testing that in the bathtub tonight. And we got a beam distance of 360 plus meters. Holy cow, guys. This is called the Oath Keeper. Boom! Oh, the Shadow Ranger and the Oath Keeper. What kind of freaking EDC team is that right there, baby? All right, I'm getting too excited. Let's check this baby out. Ooh, nice little boxy box here. Telephone number 86755-3685-0212. They're out of Industrial Park, Gushu, Xinjiang, Bowen. Shenzhen, China. That's a lot of states and zip codes, man. Look at that. That's crazy. So they're in Building 6 of Run Rundong Sheng Industrial Park in Gushu, Xinjiang, Boang, Shenzhen, China. I mean, shit. This thing is friggin' huge. I thought this was like a pocket flashlight. Okay, so here is the um, instructions, I guess, to the Oath Keeper. We even have a little lanyard to keep your instructions on if you want to. <laughs> I'm guessing that's for the for the uh, flashlight. Oh my god! Look at this thing, guys. <laughs> It looks like a camera lens, yo. Like something on an old camcorder or something. It has a freaking pocket clip. 
Who in their right mind is going to carry this in their goddamn pocket with this little clip? Got the ring right here. Hey man, this is a good. This is good for like security guards though, right? Hey Kev, let me see the flashlight dance. Oh yeah, all right. Trying not to hit myself in the face. Oh, Jake would love this thing. He could flip this thing all over the place like a ninja. And I dropped the box. Okay, let's see what else you get with this beast. Oh, you get a battery. <whistles> Look at this monster. Look at this tank right here, baby. Damn, that's a big-ass freaking flashlight light, uh, battery, idiot. Uh, it looks like it's their own proprietary battery or they just put a sticker over it anything else no okay accessories there's accessories guys all right so we have a badass pouch look at this thing no way dude it came with the cool freaking lanyard thing of my bobber jimmy look at that and you can oh you can wear this around your neck dude what yeah, Grady's gear is so jealous of me right now. He loves flashlight. He probably loved this thing. Wink, wink. Birthday gift. Look at this thing. Ah, magnetic USB cord. That looks more like a plug, not a magnetic. See that? I guess it's magnetic. Where does that go? Is there like a lid because, you know, it's got to be waterproof and everything. How would you turn? Oh, right here on the side. Look at that. See that? This John pops right on there. Look at that. And then it's USB. That's pretty cool. Olight ain't got shit on Brittany T. Brittany T, baby. All right, what else we got? What else we got? I'm going to test that out in a second. Oh, shit. Extra battery, dude. What up? Slurpee? Slurpee. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if you can name that movie, I will give you some brownie points. Dude. Slurpee? <laughs> uh, o rings, extra O rings. All right. Cool. So let's test this bad boy out, right? I'm going to put the charger away. I'm sure it's fully charged, right? I need one of the batteries, hang on. There it is. Look at this tank, though. For real, this thing is a tank of a, a battery. How does it go in here with the ring, right? Oh, no way. Has it cut out for the ring? What? Dude, that's some tactical ninja stuff right there. I know, that's not for the... Oh, you turn the ring to the side. Got it. And then this goes over the top. What? I don't... What am I doing wrong? Oh, is it going this way? No. Okay. Keep thinking, Kev. Keep thinking. Ah! Ha, ha. Sorry, I'm not used to these tactical, awesome flashlights, dudes. I am not understanding this at all. This go over here. Ah! Ha, ha. Check it, dude. You can wear this on your belt. Look at this awesome plastic clip. It's not bendy or anything. It's not like cheap plastic. It's awesome. Oh, it turns and everything. Whoa, dude. Sorry, I'm a little over the top, but this tactical stuff gets me going, man. Looks like it has a pocket on the side so you can put extra batteries. That's pretty dope, right? And then you can even put like a mini flashlight over here. Like, check it. This is what I carry every day. This ain't got nothing on this beast right here. But look, you can pop that bad boy. So you can take your ray light, pop that bad boy right in there. Boom, now you're doubling up on the flashlights, baby. And you got a spare. What is up, dude? I'm gonna scratch that. All right, enough of the games. Let's see how this bad boy operates. Does it have a battery in there, too? That would be cool if it had three batteries. We got, like, a Jenga game going over there. With the box. All right, here we go. Twist it off. 
Oh shit! Look at that. This thing's balling out, dude. Boom! Loaded up for bear, baby. What is going? Oh, you can take the ring off. You can take the ring off. Awesome. All right, dude. That just made this way better. All right, hang on. I am not a fan of the ring. I gotta be honest here, guys. Like, this is not my jam, you know? So. All right, so now we're just talking about a flashlight. All right, all right, I'm down. All right, so there's a tail switch back here. There's no, there's two buttons back here. They don't do anything. All right, what does this do? That's the charger. Here's a button. I'm just kidding. Aw, oh, man, is it dead? Aw, oh, dude, it's, it's dead. Either that or I put the battery in backwards. I would assume that if there's the spring down there that this goes in like this, right? Make sure there's no tap. Oh, no, wait, it's on both. Oh, am I supposed to put two in here? No, it wouldn't fit. All right, let me try it the other way. Let's try it the other way. There was a spring on both sides. I didn't realize that. Ah, ha, ha, we have liftoff, baby. Check it out. Oh, damn, this thing's bright. All right. Oh. 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 All right, so here's low, medium, high, turbo mode. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 I'm going to die. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. How do I go back to regular light? Oh, you just click it. <laughs> Duh. Alright, so that's that. How does it turn off? Because it just keeps going, rotating through. Hold it down. Alright. So just the click rotates through the, the settings. And then if you hold it down, it cuts it off. And then back here, there's these two buttons. Whoa. So this is just like, you know, pulling up my flashlight on high, right? Right, it goes on high right away. That's pretty cool. Then it's got this button right here. Ah, so you hold that down. So you can whip this bad boy out, strobe him, bang, 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 right? And then smack him in the face with this thing. Because this right here is your weapon of mass destruction. Uh, PT-18 Oath Keeper. Dude, I mean, as a flashlight, this thing's pretty cool. I hate how it, you have to hold it down to turn it off. I just want to hit the button again. But, so you get a lot of functionality. I mean, you get, you know, uh, low through high. You get four settings with a turbo. And then back here, you go right to turbo, right? Um, and then you have a strobe. Can't change that one. I don't think. Oh, you can. Look at that. So if you hold this down and then click that one, it changes the mode to... Watch, now it's strobe. I clicked it. It changed it. Different kind of strobe. How did I get it to, uh, sorry, this is crazy. See that? Ah! So now can I turn it off? Hold down. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Whatever. Anyway, that's crazy. So this is the, uh, the uh, Brinny Brinny T. dot com PT eighteen Oath Keeper, the Oath Keeper and the Shadow Ranger will patrol the bridges underneath the troll lands and protect everybody. And yeah, uh, we got rings and shit. Fuck people up with this. Just boom, boom, boom. you know, rabbit punching people. Um. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I thought it was going to be a piece of shit. It's actually a good flashlight. It's a good, it's a solid flashlight. It's heavy as hell. Uh, he, the heaviest flashlight I have right now 
is this guy from Olay. Oh, you know what? This is titanium. Um, this is, I mean, these are actually comparable in terms of weight. So I don't think for a flashlight it's that heavy. Uh, obviously, this thing's a lot smaller, but it has, you know, an on button and an off button. I don't know anything about it, like double tapping it. Turbo. Wow, that's some bright shit right there. I don't think I ever saw this one get that right. Now it's not working. Did I kill it? It's blinking green. I don't know what that was. I think I killed it. Maybe I locked it or something? I don't know. Or maybe now. I don't know what the hell this thing's doing. Now it works. So this is as bright as it gets, I think. And this one, I mean, that's just bright. I don't know, this has a more controlled beam, though, than this guy. This guy's more like throwing light, right? This thing's like, I can see a giant circle over on the wall. But I'm guessing the battery and everything on this is, I'm guessing this one's supposed to be way stronger. Uh, ah, shit. So... Yeah, I'm not a big flashlight guy, but I thought I'd check it out for them. Um, yeah, I'll see what comes of it. Um, you know, uh, it's 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 a solid flashlight. I gotta give it that. All bullshit aside, um, if you actually want a good flashlight, this seems like a solid flashlight. It works. It's bright as shit. Um, it comes with good shit. It's got a pouch, a couple batteries, accessories, lanyard awesome clip if you're uh hulk hogan and you need a flashlight for everyday carry it's got multiple uh options to turn it on and off uh to go through the modes it has a optional uh karambit ring so you can uh do ninja moves with it or you know if you're like a security guard i guess that could be fun right you could just be you know flicking it around while you're on duty instead of just holding it you know, now you got a ring to mess with. It's also, I guess, good because it can't rip it out of your hand. Because you got the ring, they'll just rip your finger off too, right? Um, it's got good tactical abilities on it. Um, so it's actually pretty cool. I, I, I'm actually surprised. Um, so I'll see if anybody else wants to review this. Maybe Chris, uh, Grady's Gear, he's a flashlight guy. I don't know if anybody would be into this. It's huge. Um... But if he wants to check it out, gladly send it his way. And, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I love you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.